shot there of the French Prime Minister, Lionel Gilles to Fabien Barthez. Now, of course, with Manchester United. And the Italian referee prepares to start a match in which France will wear all white, bidding to become the first nation to win the European Championship whilst holding the World Cup. Spain bidding to repeat what they achieved in 1984 and getting to the final after some years of underachievement since. Off we go in Bruges. Early test for the Spanish defence. Turam comes in, but it's a foul. Right on the edge. Munitus was the player that jumped first into the back of the uh, Patrick Vieira coming in. Who's never scored an international goal. It's his 25th cap helping out for France. Gets tugged back by the shirt by Munitus. Such an interesting battle between those two, isn't it? Unities. Henri against Salgado. Comes inside Elguera. Great run by Henri. Uh, great pace as well as cut inside. Once he gets into his stride, can't, no one can really get near him. Goal kick. French that uh, the likes of Vieira and Deschamps would really come into the round. That's Dugarry on the ground for France. Strong challenge by Salgado. Worried place there of uh, Paco in the Spanish defence. This is Didier Deschamps. Oh, and a chance on the far post. It was Dugarry who came in. I actually thought it was great defending. I think it was Salgado, the Spanish right back. They shall turn the mark, is it very, very early left footed and Salgado put him under immense pressure of Dugarry. Oh, he's bent it in towards the goalkeeper, Guardiola, and Bartes forced to fist it round. Well, he made it spectacular, didn't he, Bartes? And it's Dugarry again! Well, it's just marvellous. Interplay between the French forwards and big ball. Alfonso Raul just ahead of him, and Raul took it early, and Barthez tipped it over. Oh, what spontaneous football there! Particularly from Raul. Uh, purely instinctive, wasn't it? Like, just a shade offside, but it's so early, and Barthez was back again to Guardiola. It hits Zidane on the chest, says referee Colina. Made a gesture of that effect, and here's a Ranzabal. For nine for Spain, Munitis. It's looking promising. He's got a right foot. Three occasions now, causing all sorts of problems for two round. He sets him up with the first two, taking them on the outside and playing the balls in. Now he just kept three the other way. Still do Gary. Oh, Zidane! What a chance! Great pass to Gary. Waited and waited and waited. Lovely run by Zinedine Zidane. Could have been offside, but didn't get anything on it. Jorkayev promising. Foul on the edge of the area. Free kick in dangerous territory to France. Well, just the way that Jorkayev received the first ball, just took it out of his. Well, just took it away from the Spanish defender straight away. It was in a great position to receive it. Just really. Just... But Zidane! Oh, it's a goal for France! Zinedine Zidane! Somebody said we hadn't had many classic free kicks in this tournament. We've got one now. Zidane has put France ahead against Spain. Central, curled, and the diving goalkeeper couldn't get there. Absolutely brilliant, John. It over and up, over the wall so early, great pace on it as well. And okay. Alfonso, fouled by Deschamps, the French captain. Referee goes smartly up to him. Polina, I think he's going to make the point without showing the cut. Onto this, he has. Penalty, penalty against Lillian Turan for the challenge on Munitis. And Camacho 
relieved referee totally decisive as he was when he gave the penalty in the Amsterdam arena against the Czech Republic down goes Munitis and he goes the other side it's 1-1 Mendieta for Spain Thirty-seven minutes, the French were in front for only five. And it's a penalty equaliser from Mendieta. Well, calmness personified, wasn't he? He just waited Mendieta for Vortes to make his move. And he passed the ball home as much as any. Could be no argument either about the penalty. Henri making a run across, right to left. It's still Vieira. Oh, and Djorkaev in space on this side for France. Djorkaev! What a strike! 2-1 France! Didn't he hit that well? And the French supporters jubilant. Yuri Djorkaev, number six, restores the lead. What a first time effort here. Yeah, great run as well by Patrick Vieira. And he made sure that Djorkaev had the ball in front of him. Just the one touch, and he, well, he picked his spot and he blasted it in the top corner. Nothing I don't think Canizares could do. France lead at half time. A brisk, enterprising game. Both sides determined to go forward. 2-1 to France. They've got 11 players on the field now. Across to cover. If he can get across in here, they've got a real chance. It's Alfonso! Not quite, and Raul's in there as well. Brave save, John, as well. Cortez threw himself in there. Flying boots and everything. I thought at first minute he was going to play up. Foul. Given against Salgado. Nice dive by Dugarry, mine. That's certainly what the Spaniards scored. And in fact, a good 60, 70 yards, and then gets pulled down by Elguera, who holds his hand up an acknowledgement of the foul. Oh, what a way to turn defence into attack. And there's a little ball played from Blanc straight away. He was running at people, committing them. And, and Aranzabal comes in heavily on Djorkaev. Once again, a free kick is suitable punishment. And punishment enough. If it were possible, John, the pace of the game has increased. Well, I can't believe how they're unable to control it. Deschamps for France, and Alfonso comes in behind him, first yellow card. Tackle from behind, Alfonso on Deschamps. Well, he's ref the game so well as well, Pierluigi Colino. Okayev's having a terrific match, a really terrific match. He's been brought down there, though by Guardiola, yellow card for Guardiola. Well, Pierluigi Colina, having managed to get through more than half the match without showing a card, has now shown three. Oh, referee penalises Vieira and Desai for the sandwich on Erzais. Well, uh, unfortunate Erzais, since he's come on, he's, uh, he's, not, he's not shown a good touch whatsoever, John Engel is fortunate to get the free kick in the end. Guardiola, and it's Kuklaya, who finds his club colleague, but Henri is fouled by Salgado, oh, now the referee has gone the other way, he's booked Salgado. Well, I think he's booked Salgado because I think Henri could have been away there. In doubt about that. Right, and I think he might have just tucked him inside Salgado, and it's a free kick right on the edge. Great ball by Dugarry, just waited and waited and waited. And he was driving that, hopefully brilliant as well. <laughs> oh, Alfonso, and Raul got blocked off by Vieira when the ball had gone. That's a free kick to Spain. Clever refereeing as well, they waited to see if there's any advantage for the Spanish that wasn't brought the play back. Fantastic nutmeg as well. Back. Look at his pace, oh, and Paco's pulled him back. Now this could be serious, Paco number 18, yellow only. I suppose you could argue he may not have been the last man if there was somebody covering in the centre. Sets up Guardiola, oh, that's been deflected for a corner. Yeah, I think Desai again in the way, and great patience as well by the Spanish, isn't it? Alfonso just waited and just rolled the ball into Guardiola. Handball was it by Urzais, yes. Still no French substitution, John. He's run inside. 
Rao defending and gets a free kick. Waste by Henri, wasn't it? He thought he had a bit more time than he had. And Spain run at him very, very quick. Throughout the second half, going across Abelardo and getting a free kick for France, who can now make their substitution should they wish to do so, and they do. Dugarry, who, as I say, has been playing with a... F and that's Jorke, had shot, and it's turned round, I think, by Canizares. Well, he didn't seem to see it until very, very... This is Estebarria, oh, that's a free kick, surely. Just outside the area. It's Zinedine Zidane. I think this is Raul country, this. John, left-footed. And it is Raul, and it's been headed away. Yeah, Dugarry, I think it was. Again, as Bartes comes out, that was a spectacular catch. Well, you could see as soon as the ball was going to be laid in, I think it was by uh, Aranthabal that Bartes had already made his move to come and claim the ball, and now well, he's claiming he's injured. I'm not quite sure about that. I think it's... Uh, it's a clever injury. Well, that was Abelardo, the man who went down and got the penalty the other night. Has he got another one? He has. Extraordinary. The same. Oh, over the bar. What a dreadful moment for Raul and the Spanish supporters. The French are celebrating now. Oh dear. It never looked like going in, John, did it? Alfonso. There's ice! Oh, surely he should have made it 2 2 there. What a great cross from Alfonso. Driven in. World champions are in the semi final of the European Championship. Where they will play Portugal. After Bartes, the goalkeeper, conceded a penalty in the 90th minute and then saw Raul strike it over the bar. What a heartbreaker for Spain. But what another blistering finish in Bruges. The French are jubilant. The Spanish...